Kathy Nowin. And I am Kathy Ann Dixon. Welcome, Welcome to, to Azar. Kathy Ann, we really enjoy spending time with our Azar family. Yes, we do. And we want to say, invite a friend to this family. Yes. And let them know that we are waiting to hear from them also. So, like, share, subscribe, and press that notification bell. As a matter of fact, we are heading up trying to make our five hundred subscribers mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so we are 400 going up so we want you to help us work with us get friends to come on and say subscribe there is you know these two ladies sharing sharing nuggets out here yeah. so we want to invite you to invite friends to, to join come join our us family. join yes. our family yes today Kathian, what is our tea for today we are having something that you usually use to season meat mm -hmm. spanish thyme Tea. And I heard it's good for your nervous system. Yeah, they said it calms your nerves. Yeah. Yeah, so it's good for digestion. Very good. Yeah. What again? Um, cough. They said this is good Definitely for Definitely. Yes, for yes. Cough. And I was having a, a, a cough recently, so Spanish time tea will help me. And I heard that there are many other things. Um, so antioxidant yeah there's so many other things but all you have to go is google it for yourself that's right and, and you can see, see it. and that's you can see right. yes mm -hmm. and you know in the country this go really fast you know as you chuck a piece according to them you yes, chuck a yeah. piece <laughs> you understand i could break this off here yeah. and stick this piece and probably probably in a week's time something is happening yes fabulous yes, and then really it could go yeah till you have now to control yeah. it all so, right Get a piece of um, time and done. have it there in yes. your home. Yeah. We have a exciting topic for you today. <laughs> really, really exciting. Exciting and needful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And our topic is manners make, make it, it man. man. Yes. yes. And what is this manners all about? Well, we are dealing with manners, basic manners, mm -hmm. and about the way that we should conduct ourselves. ourselves yeah as um as a people yeah i know the old folks have the same practice at home carry a bro so it is, it is so true that's it right it is so true because sometimes you say katian no i just doing this home i wouldn't do that when i go out mm -hmm. but when you look you realize it's slip, out. it slip out because you will get you got to comfortable yeah, doing, doing it, doing it and... even among your loved ones yeah so that when you went out there and it slipped out then you realize you're kind of embarrassed. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you know, when you hear slip out, you all kind of think of slip, slip out, out, right? Yes. So, yeah, so yeah. we want to deal with that. You know, one of the basic manners, Kathy Ann, is saying thank you. Yes. And sometimes you see um, children and adults, somebody will give you something and you just something to eat drink or whatever just take it and he start to eat yes. and he didn't even say, say thank you auntie thank you mommy yes thank you yeah and you know thank you is a response that's supposed to be automatic yeah as you receive you're not supposed to have a delay yeah as you receive something yeah that should so, just fly out your mouth thank you as they say yeah thank you thank you yeah and you know it makes a person feel good they say oh my you really appreciate what i just That's did for right. you right and play and thank you gives you it brings more to you open doors when you say thank you they realize you appreciate you're an appreciated the person, person mm -hmm. they bring more because people thank you does something inside yes of a warm feeling make yes. you smile yeah. you know mm -hmm. and um please katian Please go, please and thank you. Like they go together. Yes, it's a nice couple. Yes, you don't say, um, I can have that. Yeah. I want that. Even if you're good, you send your child to the shop. You go to Royal Castle. You go to, to pump gas. Yeah. He says, may I have, please? Yes. Yeah. May I have whatever, please? Yes. The, it makes the person that you're talking to feel feel good to. Yeah. That you're willing to, you know, just ask, please. And sometimes... According to certain people's walk or status, they feel it if they go to the gas, the arm attendant, they could just say, I'm full of time for me. Because they're saying it's, it's their job. I don't have to ask uh, them that's nicely. That's right. That's and, your job. I'm paying you for that. Down, I'm paying you for that. Mm -hmm. No, even if you're paying, you still ask, can you help me pump mm -hmm. uh, my gas, please? Yeah. It's just nice. And you know, Kathy and we have to train our children from small you know you give them something 
and you realize, take it back and say, what did you say? Oh, yes. oh you supposed to say something. Something is missing here. Yes. And we don't let them just take it and run. Yes. Make sure they say. you're nicely doing it. Yes. Something, I'm not hearing something. Yes. I'm not hearing something. And they're watching you like they're lost. Yeah. <laughs> and if they're lost, that's when yeah. you have to find them. Yes. Get it found. Yeah. It says, okay, I'm not hearing Thank you. Thank you. And you did not say. And you didn't say please. please. You know, so it is so important. important. Yes. You know, and so when you do that as a child, it's already ingrained in them, and yes. as an adult, it's easy. And then there is a following that when they say thank you, the other person say you're welcome. welcome. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and everybody smiling at that time. It's something it's about the yes. moment. Yes. Thank you, you're welcome. And that's my another I love uh, yes. happiness, you know. So let's encourage and remember even as an adult, say it. Yes. Say it, you know. Mm-hmm. Even with your family members at home, practice yes. it. You're taking something from your sister. Yes. Or from your mom, your dad. Not because we are close familiar. and we are yes. well, like familiarity breed content. Yeah. Say it. Yes. Practice May at I? home. Yeah, thank you. Yes. Please. Yes. You know? What yeah. about excuse me? It is necessary. Yeah. Don't bounce pass. Yeah. <laughs> Don't push pass. Yes. You ask, excuse me. That yes. is in case you want to pass. Yeah. But then there is another excuse me because something may happen. A little gas may just pop out accidentally. <laughs> you know, <laughs> properly, yeah. it may come out accidentally. Or sometimes you go to do something and you, a book comes out that you didn't yeah. plan for. And you just, it is, excuse me. Yes. Because, yes. you know, it came out as a, it should have. Yes, you didn't so plan you, it. You didn't plan it. Yeah. So you say, excuse me. And yes. of course, you, you're you excused. And you know another time too, Cathy, and that we should make sure our children or adults say that. Sometimes I'm speaking to you and, and and my child will just run in the middle of the conversation. Mommy, mommy, mommy. Yes. And the thing about it, they're not coming to say anything important. You know, the house is burning down, nothing important. You know, <laughs> no, no emergency. Uh, yes. And 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 sometimes they love to do it. They just love to interrupt you. Yes. That is not good manners. Yeah. And instead of you as the parent saying, I did not hear you say, excuse me. Yes. You see, I'm speaking to auntie. Yes. Is it something important? Yes. You now turn around. Yes. What it is. Now, you entertaining it. No. That's right. That's it right. wasn't so important. Yes. Make sure they say excuse me. Yeah. And then it said, sweetheart, this could wait when I'm finished speaking with auntie so that they will know the next time. Don't do that. Or if they come and they ask you and you allow them and they say, um, then they tell you it's something that is pressing, then you give them the attention yes. because it's an emergency. Yes. But once there's something that doesn't need trivial. It's trivial. Yeah. We will deal with this after. after. And you let them know. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Because then they will become adults and they are doing the same thing. They see you. If I am talking to you in a corner, that means it's something personal. Yes. And then they'll just I can, I can come in this conversation now. Yes. No, you can't. Yeah. Because we did not welcome you when you was passing. We didn't say, Well, Heather, come now, join us. We yes. didn't say that. Yes, that is important when people are having a conversation yeah. you know always remember you may see two persons in a corner mm-hmm. speaking and their heads down and it's looking as if something private is happening yeah L- allow them space yes. don't walk up and say um um uh, am i interrupting something yes you are what do you want the person to say <laughs> sometimes the people are so they're in a spot. Yeah. They said, no, come now. But you are interrupting something. Yeah. So we need to operate in wisdom yeah. and know when to. And it's, again, if it's an emergency or something, att- uh, attention that you need to to bring to the person. Excuse just, me again? Excuse me again. It's not only for children. Yeah. It's also for adults. Yes. Okay. So another thing, Katia, what about knocking before you enter a door? Definitely. Practicing from a small... From the children coming up from a small knock before you enter if you don't practice it you'll go on the job yeah wherever and you will just feel like you could just turn a lock and walk in yeah and that can be embarrassing too Kathy. yeah yeah but i'm gonna put the um that responsibility on parents yeah because if they start to work with the children from early it becomes automatic that, that hand goes up and knock mm-hmm. and I don't. So true, so mm-hmm. true. So mm-hmm. not before entering. It sounds simple. Yeah. 
it sounds like this is something that we should know. Yeah. But we still want to remind you. We want you. to remind it's important. you. Yes. It's important. Sometimes parents, um, we want a private moment. Mm -hmm. And and you just open man bad gym. Yeah. You can't do that. Yeah. Knock. Yes. Even if it's your parent room, and I know we are close to our children, it's still respectful to knock. Yes, and what about the child saying, Come downstairs early in the morning and say, Morning. Morning. Tell me what is your problem here? What type of morning it is? Good, bad, or ugly? It's One. Not, you're wishing them good morning, yes. mommy. And then who are you talking to, morning? Who? Cat, dog, who? Yes. I, my mother used to have us busy. Yes. And I thank God for the busyness. How she had us busy yeah. with that, so that now we would always say good morning, so and so. So even when he was going down the road, good morning, Mister John. Yeah. Or she sent you a message. She said you go and buy some flour, rice, sugar, and while you're leaving, she called back. Don't forget to tell you, man. Don't forget to tell you my morning. Huh? Good morning. Huh? It is so true. Katia just wrapping me here, here, yes, girl. Oh, excuse me. The hair fall down, so I'm wrapping it back. But Katia, that is so true. Yes, yes, yes. Don't forget to say good morning. All of that was in, was teaching, you know. Yeah. So that as you left, when you're going to jump in, the, when you're going to come, make sure and tell the driver good morning. Oh, gosh, and I, it was like a bother, eh? And it, sometimes you forget and they keep telling you. Uh, what happens when you go by auntie? Yes. Make sure and tell auntie good morning before you start. And by doing that, it became ingrained yeah. in us. Yeah. The children would have found at that time, oh gosh, mommy, I know. Yeah. You're like a nag. Yeah. But what mommy was doing that time was, training your mind so that it will become <coughs> automatic yeah boy we we really got that in our cat and yes. good morning and living in country you all you couldn't pass people straight, straight. and countries to put pressure on you you're not passing it's uncle you know yeah <laughs> uncle and auntie <coughs> it's an indian gentleman it's uncle yeah it's a spanish, spanish it's uncle mm -hmm. it's a chinese it's uncle yeah 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 that's something yeah. else huh? because even if you say Mr. They might watch it like Mr. Who? Yes. Auntie so and so. <laughs> yes. You understand? Yes. Because yes, that yes. is how it was. That's right. That's yeah, right. What but, about, yeah, go ahead. No, but uh, looking back now, I was really happy about that because um, the people really became your auntie and your uncle where yes. they protected you and they will look out for yes. you. So when you're passing on the road, they call out to you, you know. Yeah. It was a beautiful time, yeah, really. Yeah. You know, what about covering your mouth when you're coughing? <laughs> Yes, mm -hmm. yes. I saw a thing with Bernie, Bernie Mac some years ago and the child had a cough and it, they magnified it. And when the, the child coughed, if you see thing was flying out Jones. of the child mouth. Mm -hmm. And I didn't realize that happens in the invisible. Yeah. And yeah. we go and we cough down the place, cover our mouth when we cough. Yeah. Even when we're sneezing, yeah. cover our mouth. But well, I know we are coughing now, we're wearing masks. Yeah. Right? But still, when we take off our masks, even at home, as we said, practice at home. Yeah. And then there will come a time when probably we'll wear no mask again. So remember to do it. Yes. And even yawning, do not swallow a whole whale. Yeah. Do not open up wide and yawn and, and like put it whirl always. Cover. Cover your mouth. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That is. <laughs> <laughs> you said that. That is something my mother would say. Well, you want to take everybody in? <laughs> Cover your mouth. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. yeah. And what about you know, cell phone is a new thing. Everybody has cell phone, Kathy Ann. And I realize sometimes you you're at your table, you're having dinner, lunch, or something like a conversation with your friend, and I'm speaking to you, Kathy, and you're going through Facebook, so and I'm telling you something, and you, yeah, girl. Yeah, that yeah, bad manners. Because it's a lack of attention, you're not hearing. No. Yeah, and you're just locked in into this other zone. So you're not giving the person the, the space. Full attention. The space. Yes. And I mean, sometimes, you know. sometimes I leave quiet sound for another to come up by you, Katia. No, mm -hmm. boy, I have a conversation. I can't spare me a little hour. Yeah. I am talking to you when you're going through your phone. Yeah. And then in the middle of my conversation to you, I'm telling you something. I say, hey, hey, you see, so and so. Yes, I, you I, 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 yes, I wasn't hearing anything you were saying. You caught me off. Yeah, yeah. Yo, that is bad manners. Yes, so. yes. Yes, that's so true. What about, you know, as a neighbor, you're playing music. And as if you're playing for the whole community. And it's not a wedding. It is not a wedding. Not a birthday party. And worse if it has foul language. Yeah. 
that is something that we have to be very careful. Play your music for yourself in your house. You're not a DJ. You're no. not a community appointed DJ. No. All right? So we want to encourage because sometimes you would have a neighbor who is dealing with some type of ailment. Anxiety. Anxiety. Heart problems. All different types. Someone Can't who's sleep. bedridden. Yeah. So you have to be a considerate neighbor. Yeah, yeah. So your music is for your entertainment and not really... For, for the everyone. neighborhood. And that happens also yeah. with drivers, with cars. Yeah. You go in the car and you, you, you're behind them and your car bunks in. Yeah. Because they have on all of the seats have boxes. And I don't want to hear your music. That is for your enjoyment in your vehicle. I send them to drive in through the neighborhood and it's a disturbance. That's it. Yeah. So all of this is a lack of courtesy yeah. towards others. So that's something for us to look at. And it, even Katya, and even if you're having a birthday party or a wedding, I mean, it is nice. It's it's just walk around by the neighbors and say, you know, it's my birthday, and you will hear a little loud music, but I will lock off by midnight or lock off. Yeah. So we know, we know what to expect. Right. If I want, I can go out and take my family yeah. out. So I say, you know, that music is going to be loud. Let's go for a drive or whatever. Yeah. Have some courtesy, really, yeah. truly. Yeah. And um, tell your neighbors what is happening. But if you're not having a party, please yes. play it where you alone could hear it. Yeah. Another mm -hmm. thing. Do not stare at others when they are speaking. And when I say stare, as if you're trying to eat the words out of their mouth. Yeah. You know, some people have the gift where they could just read your lips. Yeah. Because they, they got that so good from staring at people while yeah. they were talking. Yeah. That is bad manners. Oh gosh, my mother didn't let us at all, girl. Yeah. When somebody come across to my mother, we couldn't be like children, so. <laughs> uh, <laughs> one talk, you watch that one. The next one talk, you watch yeah, that one. And so, no. Yeah. And I'm not sure, parents, we have to stop that. When others are speaking, yeah. let children do something else. Yes, very true. Very you true. understand? Don't have them in the middle. And it, on top of it now, when you say something, no, mommy, it wasn't so. Yes. No. And they're putting them out in the conversation. Yes. No. Yes. <laughs> this. No. But mm. You have to make an immediate stop it the first time. Yeah. And after you stop it, no, 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 no. Yeah. You may have to do it in front of the person, but just try to do it without trying to embarrass That's, them. Yeah. But no, no, no. But after the person has gone, yeah. you still have to pull them square, as they say, and explain. Next time you see mommy speaking, so, 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 do not. Yeah. There's always not. reinforcement yeah. that it doesn't happen again. Yeah. All right? What about not touching other people's property? Yeah, girl. You know, um, in church we have camp, a lot of camp. Yeah. Around carnival, August time. And I will hear my children will be laughing when they come home that, you know, Somebody wear somebody's top, yeah. Somebody sneakers without yeah. asking them mm -hmm. when they reach in, in, in whatever they have, and they realize, but well, wait, now nah, somebody wear my clothes, somebody wear my, but they did not ask, yeah. Um, Although we are friends, you should ask. Well, that is close. I worked for one of the government services, you know, in the past, and what would happen is people would go in the fridge and take all the meat out of your know? <laughs> mouth. Oh, God, no, <laughs> yes. So, in the fridge. People have <laughs> so which mean their food and <laughs> your meat. They're cooking their food with all meat and so, coming for you. So they're only taking the meat and leaving the food. <laughs> <laughs> so this one good, sorry, yeah. Eh? Some people said they came one time at times and made the whole container end. <laughs> What would make people go? You don't know the you don't know the people home. Yeah. You don't know how they prepare the food. <laughs> and it's crazy yeah. that you would go to that extent. Mm -hmm. Well, I didn't meet but <laughs> <laughs> Take if I cook with all meat, I'm coming for your bowl. Oh gosh, no, but seriously, yeah. cutting and no. Yeah, it's, it's unmannerly. And what mm -hmm. that would have Back done is make people tape up their container, mm -hmm. keep it tied <laughs> in a bag, and all kind mm -hmm. of thing because they wanted to protect. Yeah, their, their, their own property. Their property. Their own property. Yeah. But you taking a chance because if you do that to me more than once, you do not like a lazy me chicken with pepper. <laughs> <laughs> you. Yes, I'm not that that was serious laxative in the food. Yes. Because it's a bad habit. A bad habit. Do but, not touch what is not yours. Yes, do not. Do not. Yes. What about using foul language? Oh, that's a no-no. Yeah. 
if your vocabulary is short, learn new words. Yes, read, read, yeah. read. And it's not only sometimes people who who, who to say um, can't read, you know, some yeah. people is just habit yeah. and they have to season, drop in a piece of seasoning all along in, in all the, you know, their lines. Yeah. It is not, um. well, I guess it's the line in a certain crowd, but you, you're not with that crowd all, all the, the time. time yeah. So it's bad and then your children will grow up learning it and it will just continue happening like that so let's be careful when it comes to language it is true because i remember kathy and I, we went to our wedding and the best man went to speak on behalf of the groom and while he's speaking he cursed and i said oh my god i wasn't supposed to do that here but it was habit yeah so it came out yes so you know, when said practice at home mm -hmm. it slips out abroad. it slips out and i mean it just he was going so good. Yeah. And after I was like, this was not necessary, but you see, it was something as you said he practiced. Yeah. So we really had to be careful. Yeah. The words that we use sometimes, the the words we use at home, it mightn't be obscene, but it might be something that we really don't use. Mm -hmm. And we use it at home, and then we go to church or we go somewhere in a crowd and we use it, and it came out of our mouth. I'm and embarrassed. Don't... We are embarrassed, but because you know why we was using it all. Oh, that's right, mm -hmm. that's right. What about standing too close in lines? For example, you go to the ATM and the person want to go up to the to use the machine, but you're over their shoulder. That's unmannerly. Yeah. Stand back and allow the person their privacy, allow them their space to deal with their pin number and things like that. Even by the cashier, stand back. Yeah. Allow. Yeah people space you know we <laughs> we wanting no we wanting quickly and sometimes there's a line and you want the line to move and you're up sometimes you're feeling people like if they 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 right behind you like breathing you're breathing on your neck. neck yes and it's like of oh course oh no no like i can't turn because they're right there yeah you know give the person the space that if the person's by um the cashier, make sure the person cash and they move off. Yes. You start to put your groceries. The, the cashier has to say, Where where is your stopping? Yes. Because it's too close. Yeah. Give people their space. I agree. I agree. We want to come down to some table manners. Oh yes. yeah, yeah. And yes, that's an area that we show a lot of bad behavior. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. And Aline, for me, you drink you drink some you're eating and you're drinking, which we're not really supposed to do, right? But as you drink some and then the gas come, you just decide to rah, <laughs> right there in front of the table. Mm -hmm. That is a <laughs> that is a no no. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. That? And sometimes you could tell that the boob come from B. <laughs> And you know, you can really chew you off if you eat it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, so you have to be careful. Yeah, for, yes, yes. You know? Yeah. And um, what about <laughs> when they're slurping, when you're drinking? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> that is a no no. It's noisy. Yeah. It's disrespectful. And they slip, they, could, they would slip from the cup mm -hmm. and the glass, but they'll also slip with the drinking soup. Yes. They're pulling it from the spoon. <sighs> <laughs> with so much energy please it's just a place in your mouth yeah. and have what you and eat it or drink it yeah. all right so slipping is a bad habit stop it from early yeah. most of the time you see an adult doing it is because they were allowed to, to do, do it, it as, as a, a child. child i know what too cathy you know, sometimes when they eat it with a spoon and they knock in the plate yes it have a way to take up the food bang, 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 bang. <laughs> yes yes but not that alone there are people that they're waiting for the food for things to come around because we waited for someone to stick this spoon on a Saturday billy plate. Bang, 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 bang. You're not billy plate. They're waiting for the food. And then, not at all, my husband was telling me long ago, they're waiting for the food and they're sort of drying the plate coming to the table. Mm -hmm. <laughs>
Sometimes they're taking up the one they put for the visitor. No, and they're they starting to drive. They're taking them to a wedding. Yeah. And they're, you know, they're driving. They're going up and they take up the thing and they're driving, going up. Yeah. These, this, it seems laughable. Mm -hmm. But there are things that we must take the time yeah. to deal with. And what about what they're eating at the table? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sing it. Mouth music. Mouth music is a no no. And you're tapping your foot. Yes. You know, my strength, I've sat down my table at the table eat and feel the, uh, just a shaking like a, a little hurricane, a little earthquake going on. And it's because the person eating and doing something. Mm -hmm. yeah. That relax yourself <laughs> and eat the food. <laughs> They're <in> the <laughs> They're probably nervous. <laughs> so it's something to be very, well, very careful about. Around the table, Katya and I mean, there's so much thing you, you can laugh at. Yeah. <laughs> but seriously, it's, sometimes it could be embarrassing. Yes, yes. You know? Don't beat the table. Yeah. It is not a drum. Wait for your food. It's coming soon. Yeah. All, All right? right. You know, I've seen people too, Katya, and they put their head on the table too. And waiting. Yeah. <laughs> or so, watch, watch your children. <laughs> the head on the table. Yeah, all of that. Yeah. We need to. I don't yeah. know, parents. I don't know if you just need to tell them. Hold on. Yeah. Don't let them wait. And because you know, some children, that's our next bad habit. They're hustling the food. Mm -hmm. So they're going by the table and they're waiting on the plane. When they play yeah. like the feel the pot will. No. No. The, Do something yeah. else. Until. Whatever. And I want to encourage parents. Cook on time and cook early, alright? Yeah. So they <laughs> start <laughs> it. Yeah. And, uh, uh, you know, one thing my mom. She don't like at all. It's chewing with your mouth open. Yeah. See food in your mouth. And, it... and they must be seeing it. Yeah. And you seeing all that the color. Yeah. Some of the cow would chew, it, yes. Yes. The cow would chew its cut. Yes. And spinning it around and you seeing it. Don't spin around your food for me right. to see. Right. And, and, and the thing about it, while you're doing that, you're speaking to me. Oh gosh, no, that is too much. Especially too great for everyone. <laughs> no, 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 no. That will not work. <laughs> it will not Agree? work. It will not work. You know, and there is something else. Eat clean yeah don't talk to me a whole conversation with a rice grain stick up <laughs> be conscious be conscious i feel that is why they used to have they would have these little napkins by the table yeah, yeah. so you so could do eat and wipe yeah you know it look it look you know mm -hmm. you see status see mm -hmm. but it's not that be, yeah eat and wipe be yes. conscious yes and don't eat and you know, bite up the curry and then know when you pull it so it's it here and then where you say after i go wipe it no why no, it could <laughs> turn. Especially if you have beard. Yeah, and if <laughs> <laughs> you ever see a man with plenty beard, plenty beard, and if food fall in and in the beard, I'm sick of and, and he talking to you, and you have to eat and watch that food in the middle of that yeah, beard. Yeah, yeah. That is too and much. It, it, it upsetting you yeah. because it's not of how it looks. Yeah. So it's very important that if you know you have a beard, that you guard how you eat, yeah. and it's the same if Mazu. Even if you don't have a bed, still yeah. be careful and eat clean. What about stuffing your mouth? Ever see people eating and they stuffing their mouth on here so? Yes. Got all the food. That is because they want to put spoon after spoon Ooh, after spoon. Time. When you're supposed to put a spoon, wait. Yeah. <laughs> Chew it. Swallow. Mm -hmm. yeah. Then put another spoon. Yeah. So that's a bad habit too. Yeah. So it's something for us to look at. All right. Oh, Lord help us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, we just want to come up with some final points. Yes. In the area of conduct. Yeah. Carry yourself in a humble manner wherever you go. Mm -hmm. Do not be boastful. Yeah, yeah. You know, you know why I can speak like this? Because I did so and so in my degree and I did so and so in my masters. masters. Yes. And I got, let me tell you what I do and what I do for a job. And you know, I have so much money in the bank and yes. it's so much. Yeah, sometimes by doing that, you're elevating yourself. But yeah. You're trying to see if you make, can make everybody else around you seem like less. Yeah, because yeah. you are up there. When you have to do that, it means you're dealing with an issue. Too, yeah. And you need to you need to give yourself you need to give yourself your own. You're patting yeah. your own self to blow in your own yeah, horn. Blowing your own horn mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because you need to fit in up there and yeah, no. Yeah, so yeah. you need to deal with that. Deal so with if that. you Don't know you have this for. habit of doing it, check yourself. Yeah. How do I speak when I'm in a crowd? Do I always bring up my qualifications? Do I yeah. always bring up what I have? That's right. Do I boast to overly about my children and their yeah. accomplishments yeah. be very careful with that that's a good one katya mm -hmm. that's a good one um and do not be insulted you know we spoke earlier on on um children and everybody or anybody saying good morning and sometimes i've seen some people they like if they are the good morning police you know sometimes 
you are so busy it could be church and you're running into the church probably you're late to usher or do something and it happened to pass somebody and excuse me you did not say good morning yes and hard for everybody to and hear. hard for everybody to hear like and they know this is not your normal conduct yes you will normally say good morning so it have to be that something happened this morning why i didn't say it yeah. but no you the good morning police oh. say come up to me and they want to insult me do not do that i said people do it with children and yeah. embarrass the children and hurt their feelings yeah when we know we want the children to do right but you could do it differently yeah you could say come 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 I realize like you're busy this morning. Yeah. What you forget to say? Yeah. And each other is, oh sorry, good morning. Yeah. But you and tell them, mind tell them by them. Yes, do not do it in a crowd. Yeah. So listen to me. I am a big woman. At least I I'm call, I wanna have, once I'm past fifty, I feel like yeah, yeah, I yeah. I'm a big woman, yeah. right? So do not come and try to insult me. If you see me running somewhere and you say um morning, yeah. I ask, can I have so and so? Because he can't stop and I'm running. I said, hello, can, can I have so-and-so? Hello, can I have so-and-so? Morning. Like yeah. you feel you have to say it in front of people. Like you're teaching people to yeah, say morning. Yeah, and yeah. just by how you did it, it means you yourself have no manners. Yeah, yes. So that, we have to stop that. Yeah. Give people a blight every now and then. Every now and yeah, then. You especially. Are, look at the situation. Look at the situation. Sometimes too, Kathy, and you have so much on your mind. mind. You don't know what people are going through. You, you know? had a hard day, a full day. Yeah. And... The first greeting or the first thing you can tell me. So what have you didn't see my head and say good morning? Yeah, and that is that is that makes some people trip. Trip because remember you don't know what just happened to me you now. Yes, you don't know what I'm dealing with. And I came here and all you studying is to be a a a um a morning. man a man as police. Yes, I'm and a... you start to you play your training me. Oh gosh, you know and do different and not like that. Yeah. So if you see it. So that it might make some people trip. You don't know what I'm going through, so back yeah, off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let us be careful. Let's, Let's do everything in a lovely, loving way. Decently and in order to. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. You know, so we have covered some. We have covered some and I know we missed some, but put it in the comments. Yes. And let's talk about it. Yes. Let's engage each other yes. as we continue to conduct ourselves so, properly yes, yes. and let's do it in a nice way as we just said you know you see my daughter or myself probably you say what am i in it's not like you you pass me straight man yes what see you see nobody yeah eh? sorry stop yes it's always how it is done how it is no done. one is telling you not to say something yeah. or help correct a situation but it's what is your motive behind yeah, it yeah. because your motive will will determine how you express it to the person that's right, right? that's right so we want to encourage good manners good manners good, good conduct manners, remember good conduct. manners make, make it, it mine so we thank you all for viewing we love you all your family yes. see you next time see on you. As that's our